Greetings, Hype Beats. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to another edition of this Collector of Lyle Satanic Being in Lavender Town freaking thing. I'm not sure what even to call this. I guess it's some sort of saga, trilogy, whatever you like to call it. Now, in the last video, I did a round two of me versus Collector of Lyle. But there's one thing that sparked me interested, and that was his Marrow Ghost. The Pokemon that was never ever seen in the light of day of this game. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show an interesting tactic on how to, you know, get the Marrow Ghost. So let me just cut to the let me just cut to the part where I just go in front of the trainer. Got it? Got it. So basically, in this little cheat thing, I have a code that will allow you to steal trainers Pokemon. So you don't want to press that. You want to go into Game Shark and you want to do that. You want to click that and make sure all check boxes are open for now. So now let's enter this battle. Let's get this bread. Da -da 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 -blah -blah -blah. Steal your, steal my soul, steal your ball. Now first things first, we need to defeat the Ho Oh and I just said Ho Oh. We need to defeat the Hound in and Day because we need to at least get the Marrow Ghost out. That's our main goal directive. We need to get that mirror ghost out. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get Earthquake out, and then I'm gonna swap immediately to Ace Joseph. That's our first plan of, you know, concept. And then he's gonna do Psycho Boost, which I don't think will do much to either of us. In fact, that's actually did pretty good. Guillotine missed, we're gonna do Earthquake. Which almost kills the Hound Doom, which is quite depressing. Depressing because it didn't even, like, kill. But, now, I think I'll just, uh, Shadow Ball? No. No, 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 no. We're gonna Sludge Bomb the Hound. And it did a full restore. And we're faster. That's great. Okay, so. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, it'll kill. We're good. Okay. So, what Mon is good? What Mon is going to send out Max? You two. Fine. I'll do, I'll do with Earthquake, maybe just sludge, no, 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 Shadow Ball, anything. And you sir. But we live on that. And we live on that. Shadow Ball, the Entei, Entei, down. There's the Marrow Ghost. Okay, so it won't do much to either. But what's gonna happen is because, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna show you what you guys need to do to do this. So as you can see, all three checkboxes are checked, but the thing that they don't tell you is that what you want to do when you see the Pokemon that you see, at least, you want to unclick the first three codes. So unclick this, unclick this, and cl unclick this, and then leave the fourth code on, like, still have the checkbox under this. So now we press OK, and now what we want to do is we're going to go in our bag, press L and R on my keyboard that is set to A and S, and then we will use the mask ball. And oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's the master ball. Master ball. Oh, that's bad. I messed up. I did it. I did it. I did a goof. I did a goof. Up, 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 up. So we had a minor setback. The thing is, you are never able to throw Master Balls, Pokeballs, or stuff like that in trainer battles. It, it just pretty much breaks the game. And if there is, you know, a Pokemon that's standing between another, I think it's on left, if it's on the right or left side, I, 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 it just happened to be, but I don't remember because I was, my mind was filled with like so much stuff about going like, oh, I messed it up, but I did it before. Okay. But. I did manage to do it off camera, and you may be asking, and you may be ask, you may be asking, but you just did it. Well, I did, but I did it to the wrong Pokemon. Even though there's like a 50/50 chance, depending on what Mon you have, and we we had a tragedy, so we're gonna go back and heal a little bit. So now I'm going to show you what true fear is. Now, as you can see, we do have indeed a Mirror Ghost, and as even though you might be saying, that's not a Marrow Ghost, that's a, that's a question mark. Yo, that's kind of the point. Marrow Ghost is a female, since it's 
you know, fun fact, it's supposedly the, you know, the mother, it's not even supposedly, it's fact, it's a mother of a Cubone. It doesn't have a sprite, because, you know, it, there's no sprite of it, of this, like a no sprawl sprite of it. But, this is indeed a Marrow Ghost, which I happily nicknamed True Fear. Let's look at this bit. ID number one, one, two, oh, five, three, which is, I think that's my trainer ID. Which, yeah, it's, you can see, at one, two, oh, five, three. And it has an interesting cry. Listen to this. I think that sounds familiar, but I'm not sure what mod that's from. Well, first, let's just go over that. It's number question mark, question mark, question mark on the Pokedex. Meaning that it's, it has no placement on the Pokedex. It, like, doesn't exist. Its name, official name, is Marrow Ghost, which I happily nicknamed True Fear. In fact, the Master Ball colors kind of work for it. It has a harding nature, and it was met in Pallet Town at level 100. So this thing originated from Pallet Town. It, it, it is indeed holding the leftovers. And it was ho holding onto those when you caught it. Now, let's look at these stats. Look at this. Just, just, just take a minute and admire the stats. Okay, if you want to see some comparison, here's Butterfree, here's Clefable, here's the Dragonite, here's a Gengar, and here's a Venusaur. None of them don't even get to 300. This boy, this girl, gets over 500 and nearly a half. Which is taken over 1,640,000 experience points to get it up to level 100. And it has the water absorb ability, meaning if you hit it with any water moves whatsoever, it is going to heal. Which is also ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, look at that HP stat. 651. Do you remember the last video why the Leech Seed healed so much? That's why it has such a high HP stat that it just gives Venusaur the HP or any of the other... Any of the other Pokemon HP, just like that. And its move, of course, that you may have saw in the battle are Shadow Ball, Psychic, Dream Eater, and Hypnosis. Which, promise, to be honest, it's actually a pretty good move set. It's really good. Especially for something as spooky as this. So, how about we go test this in a battle? I think you all would like to see that. Sorry for the minor cut. I had to turn off the cheats or else the game would glitch badly. But... If we, we do not have a cutter. And we are back. We now have a cutter. <laughs> it's, it's a Meowth. As you can see, a low level Meowth. But it's better than nothing. So, let's see how this thing looks. Where and works in battle. So, we are going to counter a wild pigeon. So, now let's send out True Fear. And it is a giant pair of two question marks. Now you gotta remember, it doesn't have a back sprite, it only has a front sprite because that's how it was intended. You were never meant to find this thing, or even use it in the slightest. So, as you can see, since we have so much mortar stats, this thing pretty much just one hit the pigeon. And it doesn't even affect true fear because we're a ghost type. Your quick attacks do nothing. And it dies in an instant. With a critical hit. Just to rub a lemony, salted thing in the wound. It doesn't even get XP because, uh, what do you think? It's fully leveled. It has over a million XP. So, that's really all I want to show. I guess I could show it, uh, doing Dream Eater. While I just talk about the opinion of the Pokemon itself. I honestly think this Pokemon is insanely cool. But even though it's only for this ROM hack in specific, it is... I, I just love it. I just love the uh, design of it. I like, it, like, how the more you think about it, it's like, like, it would make sense. It's the ghost of, you know, Cubone's mother. It's kind of like the ghost of, uh, yeah, trying to think and just trying to witness the dream-eating monster that is, uh, true fear. But it's like when you, oh, you're perfect, because I think I can use Shadow Ball. But it's just when you go deeper and more about it, like, you know, it, it, it makes sense. It's, it's kind of like the ghost from the Pokemon Tower, where it's a level 30, uh, Marowak Ghost, which I feel like that would have been a cool replacement for Marowak. Just replace the Marowak Ghost with the actual Marrow Ghost. In fact, just replace the Ghost all together. Just, like, get rid of the Ghost and the Marowak, uh, appearing with the Soap Scope. Just put in the Marrow Ghost. That'd be a good, like, mid-game boss battle. But... For this video, that's going to be do it for me showing off Marrow Ghost and, you know, how to get him. 
It will take a little bit to get them, don't get me wrong. But you can still get them, it's possible. But I have an interesting video idea. If you guys want, do you want me to use Mirror Ghost in the entirety of the Elite Four and Champion? And want me to keep and want me to beat the game through that? Because to be honest, that would be a really hilarious and cool idea. But that's all I'm gonna show you guys. Until then, it'll be something else pretty cool. And I honestly had real like honestly, it doesn't like it really doesn't sound like it. But I have a lot of appreciation for this ROM hack. I have so much appreciation for it. But that's gonna be it for now. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like on it. And if you want, share this with your friends if they want to find out more about this, you know, mysterious mirror ghost and we can find out more about its origins. And why not subscribe to the channel to actually view the content? And I really never said this before, but since YouTube is actually breaking, I never talked about this, uh, you know, publicly or like even in a vlog or update, something like that. But YouTube has been recently breaking, so I would sincerely recommend that you click the bell next to the subscribe icon because what, the ha what that does is that it basically gives you notifications of when my videos come up or like you know when I want to preview a video I might start doing preview stuff uh, with live chat which would actually be pretty sick so I might do that in someday but for now my name is Hyper Himes and I will see you in the next video Hail the Hype Beast